Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Fates Birthright. So uh, today we're going to be taking care of the Rajat Paralogue. Awesome. But before that, uh, Crystal, we have to do some supports. Oh boy. Alright, we don't have a lot. They're just basing them So who are we starting off with? Okay. Um, let's start with Obero. Obero and Rinka, okay. Cool. That's it. Don't hold it in your fist like it's a sword. You need to grip it between your fingers instead. That helps give you finer control. Ugh. Don't hold it so tight. Let it move in your hand along with your fingers. I just can't get it. Oops, it broke. Again, this is the fifth time. I keep telling you this is a waste of time. Not at all. There's lots of reasons to stick with it. You can eat anything, even fish. I know you love fish, without leaving a mess. Why would I not just bite into the fish? That way I can spit out the bones later. Or heck, just eat them too. Yeah, see, that's a good way to guarantee a mess. But if you ate it clean, you'd get all the meat on those bones. Hmm? You've been leaving prime meat behind. Your horrible table manners mean you're not getting all the fish on your plate. Doesn't it frustrate you to waste food? Uh, I'm wasting food? Oh, I guess you're right. I hate to admit it, but... There's still a plate of cooked fish left from tonight's dinner. Why don't you watch me to see how I do it? Sure. Wow, how'd you do that? There's nothing but bones and skin left. I've never seen anything so clean. It's like art the way you eat. That's the kind of thing you can do with utensils. You get all the meat while leaving the plate and tablecloth clean of bones. You're really starting to sell me on this. Show me again. I would love to. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I think that's so funny. Alright, Kaze and... Oh right, Kana. Okay. <clears throat> hey Papa, there's something I wanted to ask you about. Of course, Kana. What do you need? It's Mama. She always treated me like a child. Well, it's only Nasha. You're her son, after all. Um, he's also your son, too. You're son. right. <laughs> and you are still young. I know, I know. I just mean I'm not as much of a child as I used to be. I want to help out with things. But whenever I try, she tells me to go and play with my friends instead. I see. You want some responsibilities of your own. Right. I want to show her that she can rely on me. Can you think of anything special? Can you think of any special things that I could do for her? Well, I often give her ointments or scented oils I craft myself. It turns out that a knowledge of med medicinal herbs can take you quite far in such things. Oh. Hmm? What's wrong? I guess I was just hoping for things that I could do for her too. I don't know how to make all that stuff like you, Papa. Ah oh, yes, I see how that would present a problem for you. Oh, I know. Let's have a contest, Papa. A contest? Yeah, we'll make a contest to see which of us can make Mama happier. Between the two of us, I'm sure we can come up with all sorts of things. Whoever Mama thinks the, thanks the most wins. A father-son con competition, eh? Sounds interesting. Very well then. Then they yay. But you should remember, I am the one who won your mother's heart. Being me will be no mean feat. I do not intend to go easy on you. That's okay with me, pal. I'm gonna beat you fair and square. Then let the games begin. <laughs> Alright. I think that's so funny. Yeah, like a father-son competition. Okay. Let's do me. Right, Who I have. Oh, Kana. Okay. And Kana. Oh, yeah. Mama, Mama. Yes, Kana, what is it? I picked some pretty yellow daisies for you, Mama. Wow, they're beautiful. Thank you. Do you really like them? Yes, I love them. But you've been bringing me an awful lot of flowers lately. What's got into you? I just remember, the, I just remembered that when I was real little, we'd go looking at flowers together. You always smile so much, so I love and I love your smile, Mama. So I decided to start bringing you lots and lots of flowers. <laughs> I didn't realize you were keeping such a close eye on me, but I do have a small favor to ask of you. Anything, Mama? What do you need? Remember how I told you that flowers are living things, just like you and me? It means that when you pick them, you're hurting them, and then they can't eat or drink anymore, so they start to wither away. Oh no! I've been hurting the flowers. It was an accident. I'm so sorry, Klaus. I never meant to. I'm sure they'll forgive you now. Or now that you understand. 
But promise me that you won't pick any more, okay? <laughs> Let me get Damn. This Let me get this straight. It's fine if he kills, like, enemies, but you're gonna punish him for picking- For picking flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Faith's the logic at its finest here. Okay. I know. <laughs> okay. But if I don't- But if I don't pick them, how can I show you all the neat flowers I find? Easy. Just come tell me when you found some, and we'll go together to look. Really? You won't be too busy? Never for you, my little kind of bean. Okay, then it's a deal. I was just too busy to raise you. I'll do you one better. It's a promise. Oh my god, I swear. I'm not too busy to look at flowers with you, but I was too busy to raise you. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean I'm too... I mean, it's not like we're too busy to find work, but I'm never too busy mm -hmm. to look at flowers with you. Okay. Uh, Subaki and Kaldori. Hmm. Yeah! Ha! Yeah! Pachu! Chup chup chu, blammo, nyung, kasha. I have to say, I'm quite impressed. But father, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing, just observing. Your form is flawless, even when there's no one around. You could have stepped out, out of an arm scroll, I swear, or even a painting. I can see it now, your nagina set athwart the beams of evening sunlight. Stop, I get it. I have much to work on. There's no need to mock me like this. I'm not mocking you, I'm serious. Your skill is astounding. You're only saying that because I'm your daughter. Oh, so I'm just being a doting father, eh? Well, I guess it can't be helped with a daughter as perfect and adorable as you. Oh, knock it off. All right, all right, fine. <laughs> well then, on with it. Don't stop training on my account. I can't wait to see more of that gorgeous knocking out work. It's a little hard to concentrate when you keep saying things like that. There it is again. You know, you keep saying that, but you never miss a step. You might be the most frightening warrior in the world, you know that? I look forward to seeing how far you'll go. He's looking forward to seeing my skills? Ugh, I can't mess up now. Here we go. Yeah, wah, yeah, say yeah. Take that, evil, and that, and that. Flawless. <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I'd say I should be worried. Take that, evil. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that's so Like, what are you, like, from a comic book? <laughs> <laughs> right. Alright, so okay, let's see. Let's we might as well do... Um, what? Oh, sorry. I mean, I think I, I think it's just Rinkin and Orochi and Kaldoran and Sakura. That's, yeah, that's what I was going to say. We might as well just Get them all do Sakura all and Kaldori, yeah. Alright. Hmm, the advanced troops have just received fresh recruits, so they'll be needing tents. And a larger si shipment of grain. Have the Quartermaster make the arrangements. At once, my lady. Would you like him to re re resume his duties managing the armory? No, I will continue to oversee it personally. On that note, please go to the Smiths and requisition the items on this list. Delivery is expected within the fortnight. Yes, my lady. Right away, my lady. You certainly seem busy these days, Kaldori. Oh, mother, how can I help you? I had heard the supply division was short of hands, and I thought I might be able to help. But it looks like you've got everything under control. Whoever appointed you really knew what they were doing. You flatter me, but I've got plenty of room for improvement yet. I'm still very new to this kind of work. <laughs> no need to be so modest. Now, what can I help you with? Thank you, Mother. I appreciate your offer, truly, but I have nothing for you to do. All I've left is the inventory. Then I will help with that. With an army of this size, it must take a long time to count everything. We'll see about that. Here, let me see the list. We just need to make sure the numbers match, correct? Well, yes, but here, look at this. Hmm? This isn't an inventory. What is it? Some kind of diagram? Or something like that, yes. I drew it up for the armory a little while ago. If the supplies are stored according to the plan, they can be counted with ease. It takes a fraction of the time, and only one person. I'm sorry, Mother. I see. So, um, are you sure there's nothing else I could do? Well, I've prepared some tea over there for just such an occasion. Please help yourself. A am I being coddled by my own daughter? Truly, I am the most useless of humans. I love how this changes depending on the market. Hinoka, she gets so pissed at Kaldori for doing something <laughs> like this. Like, she's so mad. What was that? Did you say something, Mother? No, dear. Okay. <laughs> And finally, Orochi and Rinka. 
Oh, gods of harvest, forgive Orochi for interrupting your slumber in the earth. Orochi entreats you, send good fortune to us, your thankful children. Hmm. Who dares pry into my magical methods? Oh, hi. Sorry, Rinka, I didn't know it was you. So this is how you do your magic. Intriguing day, eh? I can't blame you. Curious, that's all. You said you can tell fortunes for events outside of battle. Like what? Just about anything. Trivial as the weather, vital as health or love. Hmm, really? I sense you want Orochi to look into something for you. About? None of those things. Make your request. I want a food fortune. A food fortune. I guess I can do that. Get to it then. Orochi must prepare the correct materials for this divination. Leave me. I'll tell you when I'm ready. Hurry up. A food fortune. What am I supposed to figure out what her, when her next meal is? <laughs> God. Or right. just so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah. I do like her character. Mm -hmm. Character. Keep on thinking. Alright, so um, we're doing Raja. So I think it's Hayato and Mozu. Yeah, so... I yeah. can only pass down inspiration, and Mozu doesn't really need to pass down anything other than aptitude. Mm hmm. Alright, let's just get into it. Alright, so, Paralogue 14 Cemetery in a Deep Realm after the end. The group visits Raja high to start. As she studied the dark arts, Raja has summoned a throng of faces, and they are out of control. Okay. Paralogue 14 after the end. Well, this isn't at all how I pictured where your daughter lives. I didn't even know that any part of the Deep Realms looked so ominous. It wasn't this creepy the last time I visited Rajat. Something terrible has happened. You better investigate then. Hmm, yes, let's hurry in. What's going on around here? Faces everywhere. They seem to be surrounding the house, maybe even coming from it? What? But that's where Raja lives. It can only mean one thing. She actually did it. Did what? Hmm, there's something I haven't told you about my daughter. She dabbles in the dark arts. The darker the better. Last time I came here, Raja was amusing herself with summoning spells. But she couldn't get them to work. Hmm, I just can't believe that your daughter could possibly... <laughs> After all my toil, the Norian monstrosities are mine. All mine. Does that convince you? I guess I shouldn't have been surprised. She's got your knack for magic. It seems Raja has succeeded beyond her wildest dreams. Not like her weirdest nightmares. We have to get them we have to get in there and clean up this mess. Come to me, my children. Come to Raja, your loving mother. Seriously, that girl, she's dabbled herself into a very dark place. Okay, and so yeah. Alright. This uh, map. So basically, um you have to it's a yeah, became it's a raw map. So, oh my god. Um, yeah, the faces here mostly they don't aren't very that scary. They do come with a skill depending on the group. This group comes with a uh, shuriken breaker. This group comes with lance breaker. This group comes with sword breaker, and this group comes with axe breaker. The so many group comes with bavis, and this basically if you want, you don't really have to worry about reinforcements. What you see here is mostly what you get. And um, you just have to, if you use Dragon Man, you just basically just get rid of the, the um, uh, acid here, which just takes away 10% HP. It's not really that big of a deal because it's just 10%. It does hinder your movement slightly, I think, like cavalry, I think. But luckily, since we're not using Silas, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, Piers Rajat, we'll talk about her when she gets, oh my gosh, she's already got capped to res. Damn, all right. Um, so yeah, let's pick and choose units. Oh man, I would love to bring right. Uh, I guess, uh, do I really do a chapter without Ryoma? <laughs> oh wait, what the, Tsubaki. Get but the we have Tsubaki. Yeah. I didn't even real. I thought, I didn't realize he was there. I thought we have to bring. Um, I guess I can bench Ryoma for this chapter and... Mm. I guess I can bench Kagura as well. I mean, she 
Yeah, I want I want to give talk me and Shiro some experience here. Mm -hmm. All right, and oh wait, I have to give Hinoka some lances because she did give some to um uh, to um to Calderay actually. In Calvary, I do want her to get a staff. Do I have a Sun Festival? Yes, I do. Alright, so this... Alright, so... Yeah. And by the way, if, Hi if you actually lost Hayato, if you kill Rajat's, um, you still get her. Hmm. Like, that's the thing about, like, um, these, uh, like, kids that ha that become enemies. If you just kill them with the, um, uh, If you kill them, they still join you. It's kind of, like, similar to, like, um, uh, Niles and Nina in Conquest. Oh, mm-hmm. Alright, so luckily Shiro can just uh, get rid of this acid thing on the first turn. I mean, I don't real the acid really isn't that big of a deal, it just it helps you out. Like, you know, why take the damage when you don't have to? And Jesus Christ, Kanze, are you being serious right now? <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god, wow, these guys are actually kind of tough to kill. 25 defense? Man. Oh my god, even with the blessed lands, these guys are tough to kill. I'm kind of starting to regret not bringing Ryoma. Oh, never mind. Thank you. You gotta be kidding me. Really? He provides oh my, my critical? Come on, dude. Damn it, that would have been perfect. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, at least, uh, alright, well, at least I will be able to rally strength with Kaze here. Oh my god. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck your provides. Alright, please get strength, come on. It points speed res. Oh my god. Why? Literally, I'm also playing Fates right now. And I my mean, Kaze literally already has more strength than ours. Like, come on, like, mine caps strength and conquest, so I don't know why this one's struggling mm -hmm. so much. Mine usually caps his strength, like... I mean, to be fair, his strength cap isn't that high. I, I know, like, it's 25, I think, as a... Master Ninja, but still, this is just pathetic. <laughs> because I think even though I recast them... Oh my god, what, what the fuck? What is their skill? 18, so I don't- I'm just getting really unlucky. And these guys are pretty bulky. Alright, hey, oh, right, right. I can't follow up with the dragons. Okay. Um... Let's see, I would like a Roachy to just kill... Okay, yeah, even if she... Even if this guy... Wait, no, if he procs for buys... But I missed that! Oh, uh, oh, oh, my. oh my god! Okay, Orochi... Magic res. Okay, oh my god, what happened to me yesterday is an enemy missed a 97, and then I immediately missed my 90 right after. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> like, I was like, holy shit! Like, seriously, like, I don't know, like, what's been going on recently, but I'm getting really unlucky, like, with these misses for some yeah. reason. Like, it's just like, That would be my fault. <laughs> That's my fault. That's my influence. Is Please? Okay, thank you. Horrible luck. Okay, and this guy is gonna be tough to kill because I don't have anyone that can like just kill him easily. Uh oh, dragon. Fa oh, wait, don't I have? Wait a minute. Oh, what? Kana. Uh, let. Damn. Let's see. This is where. I... Okay, yeah, he needs the love sword actually because I don't think that. I think he. Wait, you can't proc. No, you can't. Ah. <laughs> uh... Okay, what gives the best debuffs here? Skill? You know what? Yeah, actually reduce his skill so that way he can't proc bias as much. Fucking the bias. Wait, can you proc- Wait, can you proc bias on shurikens? Uh, no you can actually. Okay. Ooh. That's right, I'm thinking of- That's right, because they, it's, it's a ranged weapon. Yeah, because that would be Aegis. Right. It's just these this opening group that get, that's annoying because they all have provides and you're so used to okay uh, you're so Stop. used to you're so used to um uh, birthright and he's not having skills and when they finally have skills yep. it's like a wake they're up they're annoying call. it's like oh now you have skills okay now I actually have to like you know play seriously this isn't like a snooze fest anymore 
I wish enemies in Birthright had skills because, like, at least on Lunatic, because on Hard Conquest, enemies have skills. Yeah, even on Normal. Like, Conquest, like, enemies have Oh, I'm, I've you. never played Normal. And, well, I, I I haven't either. I just checked the Fire Emblem, like, wiki, the good wiki, oh, I see. to see if they have... I, I was gonna say, I don't know shit about Normal mode. <laughs> yeah. No, I've never played on uh, Normal, like, Fates. But, like, um, I did play my first playthrough on Birthright Hard because... I didn't know how, because remember, mm -hmm. this came right after Awakening. We all know how insane Lunatic Awakening was. Yeah. You have to pretty much follow a script for yeah. the first several chapters. Yeah, if you're not using DLC. Which I think is bullshit. Mm -hmm. That's why when we do our, you know, playthrough of, you know, of uh, Awakening, it's going to be hard. Like, I'm not doing Conquest. Yeah. Yeah, my first playthrough of Fates was Hard Conquest. So then when I went and I played, I was like, okay, I have the hang of this. I'll play, I'll play Lunatic Birthright, right? And it was easier. Yeah. I mean, I understand why it's this easy because this was meant to be like the entry point for like people who just like either like either came off of Awakening or like people who want like a challenge who were veterans, which I mean, I understand, but like this is like piss easy. This is like so yeah. easy that it's like a hard birthright sense. is a joke. Yeah. Like, and the only time, and by the time the enemies actually like start to have skills, like on the final chapter or like the gate, the chapter before end game. Oh, nice. Um, there's like this um, um like team of berserkers that actually like I, that resemble like enemies that you would see in conquest. Actually, mm -hmm. it's really fun actually, but it's a shame that it appears. Ooh. Good level up actually. That appears literally on the second to last chapter. Hey, nice job. Yeah, it's... Please crit five. Okay. Okay, just skip this. All right. Oh my! All right, Lance Breaker. Okay. Oh, they have Lance Breaker. Wow! Even with Lance Breaker, my God, that support is really helping out. Twenty-eight hit talking he gives her actually. Yeah, I love their pairing. It's really great. Strength, skill, defense. Nice. All right, some speed. I'll take that. All right. Um. Wait. Okay. They don't have bow breaker, so we should be fine here. He only has twenty strength. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with Takumi. I don't know what's going on with all of our characters. Why does he have less strength than Kaze? Wait. What? Oh my fucking hell! Are you gotta be kidding me? <laughs> and Kaze's been fucking screwed over on strength. Yeah. Wait. Oh, sure I can break. Fuck. Okay. Okay, wow, I actually managed to hit both of those. Okay. Takumi has a good strength growth, doesn't he? Yeah, I think it's like in the 50s. Mine percent. always have like cracked strength. And then there's Rinka, who I don't even know what to say about her. Like, she's <laughs> great in everything. So I looked at my old files. It looked like what I was doing is I was using Ani Chieftain until she got Axe Fair, and then I was making her a blacksmith. But now wait. that I know that the Ani Axe Chieftain has. Doesn't. Doesn't. Wait, no. Not Axe Fair. No, no, no. She, as an Ani Chieftain, she gets some um, Death Blow and um, Counter, actually. Oh, it's count. Where the fuck did mine get axe fair? You probably got maybe. What, were you? I probably with... yeah. I probably took it off someone else, someone else's Rinka. I was gonna but, say, um, were you playing like on a Revelations file? No, it was a Birthright file. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. I always I always assume that the Hoshiden classes get the fair skills. Uh, I know the Omiyojis get Tome Fair for some yeah. reason, even though you think yeah. Sorcerers would get that. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's the thing is. And um, the Norian classes tend to get the breaker skills. Mm -hmm. Though I do know that blacksmiths get lance breaker, though. Yeah. That's why I want to make her a blacksmith because I think because we're gonna be facing like a ton of cavaliers. Yeah. And oh my then, god. <laughs> I have look to look at my Rinka again then because maybe I I might have reclassed her. Oh, oh five. nice. Okay. Ooh, cool. A double crit, nice. And there's that seal res coming through. All right. Hey, Dragon Fang. Hey, oh my God, Dragon. But Fang. yeah, I had a couple, I had a couple files of her as blacksmith and a couple files of her as Oni Chieftain. They are pretty much like 
the differences. I mean, the thing is, is that the Oni Chieftain has the better growth rates for her. Yeah. Um, like we saw that. Like I, we pulled them up. Yeah. This and we saw that. That's why we went Oni Chieftain. Yeah, and of course, Death Blow is like a must-have mm -hmm. if you Plus, have access even to if it. We didn't. She was getting some pretty good magic growth as an Oni Savage. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, that was crazy. He said, "Thank you." Okay, good. Hey, B rank, nice. You might actually be able to move the water real soon. Uh, let's see, B rank, B rank. Eh, if I have to get an R star, I'd probably be over who gets it. Okay, so eight, seven. Okay, fine. Come on, please, please. Oh. Soul, soul, soul. Okay, I'll take that. 64% chance, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, can I get some more skill, Crystal? Strength Probably. skill. Probably. Yep, there you go. <laughs> it had, wait, is that, that has to be Cassio. I refuse to believe this. Alright, okay. Nice. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I think it might not be. Oh my god. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god, that looks brutal. Even better than the Shuriken mm -hmm. version. Alright, Shiro's now level 8, hit point strength skill, nice. Why go for- seriously dude, like, I think that they know that they're gonna die if they go for you because you like double them and you have like such a high crit rate. Alright, dodge, nice. Ignis, Ignis, nope. I missed room. <laughs> No damage. Oh my god, nice. Ooh. Double crit? Nope, okay. Still though, still res. Ooh, okay. Ooh, ouch. Ow. Ow. Okay, okay good, no dragon thing. Alright, well, we should be fine. Yep, okay, yeah, we're good. Oh, okay, there are reinforcements actually, okay. I've done Rajat's chapter maybe oh, twice, no. so I couldn't tell you. If... Oh no, they have eight. Do they have? Oh my god. Great. Okay, so I have to kill these guys basically just without using ranged attacks. So Hyatt is gonna be. Why are you not doubling that? Oh my god, that oh, girl. Okay, if I attack from here, um, that's not a kill. What if I use the spy you me? That's worse, actually. Okay. Okay, let's heal Kaldori. Uh, is that a kill? No. What? I mean, if he crits, yeah, but... No, that's 37. Oh, damn it, okay. Well, Only let's... one of them has to crit. Uh, there we go, okay. I know. Yeah, there you go. It's time we have death blow. I gotta check this. I think he does... All right, level up. Please get strength. The points, skill, speed, raise. Okay. Oh my god. I'm the strong one of the family. No, you're not, dude. Shut up. No, I don't. Oh wait, it's sure who has that. But okay, thanks. Okay. Okay. I mean, he's still pulling really good crit rates even without it. I think that's the Fujin Yumi having him out though. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. Oh, the Fujin Yumi. But still, it's a pretty good bow though. I mean, without it, I don't even- I don't think Takumi would be this good. No, absolutely not. Alright, thank god for the plus lines. Oh, nice, okay. Oh my god, damn, okay. Okay, Hayato, where are you? You need to get- you need to get to your door to stop this madness. Alright, nice, another crit, nothing unusual here. Damn, oh my god. I fucking dunk on them too, <laughs> like that's <laughs> Yeah, like you just like spin around and just like st like slam the sword into them. Uh, no, that's still not cap skill, what the hell? I told you! <laughs> like, I gotta check, what is your- I'll check when we do um, 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 Rajat's growth because I gotta see what your skill cap is. Keep in mind, 
um, the statues, too. Yeah, so it raises it by one. Fuck! Mm -hmm. I forgot, he had Aegis. <laughs> Hit point strength skill, nice. Poison strength, thank you. Alright, we're in heaven, that's useless though. And it actually damage, alright. Okay, you don't double. Um, Kana does, but he doesn't kill. Alright, fine, why not? Please crit. Please. What? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my, come on, that was perfect. And now I'm a little bit worried because, like, Crystal's, like, kind of, like, out, his, or, um, Azura's kind of, like, out in the open. <laughs> Don't miss this, please. No, Dragon Fang, okay, I prefer Soul, though. Dragon Fang crit. Oh my okay. god. 144 damage. 144. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, if I go here, um, do I have, like, a bolt, a two-inch weapon? Oh, the bolt, eh, yeah, that might actually help out here. Uh, well, you're not gonna kill unless you, no, even with a crit, that's not gonna kill. If I had the kill, oh, wait, I should have swapped you Yeah, if I had the edge. killing edge. Yeah, I should have swapped you to that. Uh, I can dance with Azura, though. There we go. Alright. So, let's see. Kaldori, level 12. It's magic Glove. Eh, I'll take it. And then can... Uh, from here... Okay, nice. I can actually have a... Um, where I can get this... Okay, I don't know if I should bank on a crit for this. 54. Okay, just go for a Orochi. Guarantee it. Okay, yeah, this is what sucks. She doesn't double these guys. But she doesn't get doubled. Oh, nice, a critical. Oh, Ooh, that'll that's be a kill. Kill, actually. There we go. Nice. I think only Raja's left now. Oh my god, damn, she has a lot of experience. Alright, that's a block. That's not a kill. Okay. Level 29. Magic, skill, speed, luck, deep, res. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> Why does she keep getting speed, too? I thought she was going to get... I think it's literally the witch's growth roots that are helping her out, though. I thought she was yeah. going to defense again. I thought she was, too. Alright, Hayato, go and get your get your daughter in line, please. Stop, tell her to stop. <laughs> Father, you've arrived. Meet your grandchildren. Aren't you proud of me? I've mastered the art of summoning. The faceless just keep on coming. It's so beautiful. What? This is horrifying. If you summon any more of them, we won't be able to cut them all down. Huh? Well, but I've only just begun. They're a part of our family, father. Listen, you need to stop this. Now, please, listen. Please, your father knows best. What? How can you say that? You know nothing about summoning. Rajat, you know that's not what I mean. Now help us clean up this mess. Fine, father. Alright, and there we go. So I think we'll just promote her right here with the offspring yeah, seal. Yeah, might as well. And I think that will make... Yeah, Omioji, obviously. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So she'll get Rally Magic too, which that means basically I don't think we need to bring Izana anymore. Now that she can just Rally Magic. And 5 HP, 3 Strength, 9 Magic, 6 Skill, 8 Speed, 5 Luck. Six defense and eight res. And there's Rally Magic and B rank in uh, tomes and D rank in staves. And we'll talk about her after this chapter. So, alright, so this is just the last kill. I think. There we go. Hello uh, for Obro. Please get speed. Hit point strength. Speed. Defense. Nice. Hey. Five turns again. Rank in Orochi. Okay. I think it was mostly ranking all those crits with me only here. Well, we've cleaned up that mess. Now, Dar, I've never discouraged you from dabbling in the dark arts, but how? But do you pursue the? Do you have to pursue the worst possible spells? I have been working on a spell that makes a person taller and less baby-faced. What? Are you really? 
No, of course not. Very funny. Anyway, no more summoning. Understand? Huh? No way. My next spell is going to be a hundredfold more effective. Seriously? What possesses you to do such things? In that case, I've got no choice. You're coming with us. What? But this is my sanctum. If you're going to keep at these keep at these sites, I, then I've got to keep an eye on you. In fact, I'm doing. T I'm going to take charge of your magical ed education. I don't have a same matter, do I? All right, as long as you give me interesting challenges, Father. How about you start on that spell to make a person taller? That seems respectable. Huh. Pardon the intrusion, but I've got some great ideas for research. How about a spell that makes a person less afraid of the dark? Or a cure for crying every time someone botches his bowel moves? Who would need that? You? Oh no, don't be sad. I mean your father here. I think he should focus on being braver, not taller. Tsubaki, I'm braver than you are. <laughs> I'll get to working on those spells right away. After seeing you in action here, Father, I can see how I can really help. I think all your friends need my help, too. Oh, this is going to be fun. I suppose it's time to take one last look at the inside of my dark sanctum. I won't miss it too much. It's just a home. The real darkness is inside me. Grr. Huh? One of my children lived? Grr. N no I'm your mother. Stop, abomination. Get away from her. Uh. That was a close one. Are you alright, Raja? Ugh. You are- you're hurt, aren't you? You, what's your name? Who, me? I'm Crystal. You're this crystal that Father's been talking about? Uh, yes. Thank you for rescuing me, Crystal. I owe you my life. No one's ever been willing to sacrifice themselves for me before. I owe you my life. All of it. Every hour, every day, until the end. Huh? That's, uh, not necessary. You've got my full attention. I'll watch you like a hawk on a mouse. Forever and ever, until one of us is no more, and maybe then some. Your name is branded upon my mind's eye, Crystal. What a strange young woman. I guess that's just her way of saying thanks. Of course, she could have just said thanks. Odd one, that Raja. You summoned me, Crystal? Ugh! I'm here for you, should you need me. My dark arts are at your disposal. I will be close as your shadow. Actually, I will be your shadow. So yeah, if you actually right. married Amahaya, so this conversation is totally different, because, you know, you're her mother. Yeah. Actually. And actually, she actually seems more human and less creepy. I mean, she still, like, closes up the conversation, like, you know, watching you, like, being your shadow, but she actually... You kind of view her as, like, a caring daughter, in a way. Mm -hmm. And she actually, like, says she, like, loves you. Like, you know. Aww. And it's kind of like a bit, like, you say, like, she's kind of like a little bit of a softy. Aww. Mm -hmm. But she says not to, like, let word get around about that because she has to, like, keep up appearances, which, I mean, I don't blame her. Ooh. It's Ooh. Alright, so let's talk about, uh, Raja. So... I mean, it kind of makes sense why she's like, so, it kind of makes sense why she's like, you know, you know, why this version of, uh, Tharja, Taria, I have no idea how to pronounce her name. Um. I think it's Tharja. Okay. Uh -huh. I think it is, because, you know, like, TH Tharja. So, I do think it's understandable why this version of her, this stalks the Avatar. It's never explained in Awakening why Tharja stalks the Avatar in Awakening, but... That's for Awakening. Um, so yeah, this version of Rajat, um, uh, or this, which is Rajat. Um, so Rajat is an Omioji. Um, she says she can dabble in the dark arts, but I'm pretty sure she can't reclass to like dark. Yeah, she can't reclass to, um, dark like to a sorcerer, which I honestly thought is a missed opportunity because. Yeah. Then she could have actually been a pretty good sorcerer, but the only way you can do that is if um, Hayato marries um, uh, marries um, Nyx in Revelations, or you know the Avatar has an, a talent as a dark mage, or if she gets an A plus support with um, 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 
Ophelia and Revelations. But again, it's like Revelations. Oh, I see. Or this very specific right. birthright requirements. But um, I do think um, uh, Raja is a pretty good unit. Um, as an Omiyoshi, I think that, you know, this is a bit of an oversaturated class because, you know, you already have Orochi, you have Hayato, you know, her own father. The only benefits I think she gets out of this is that, you know, she is like a child unit. Um, she actually has some pretty good growth as an Omiyoshi. Like, though she is a bit squishy, I will say, like 35 HP, that's squishy. And she has 30 strength, 55 magic, 40 skill, um, 70 speed, which is crazy fast. That is crazy. 40 luck, 40 defense, and 50 res. Though you have to keep in mind, she does have aptitude, so you have to keep that in mind. So she is pretty magic based and really fast. And not that bad in terms of resistance, though. But still, she is pretty squishy, though. You have to keep in mind, though. But, and this version of her doesn't have capped res anymore because, you know, we promoted her to a level 10 Omiyoji. Um, she comes with, um, Inspiration, which is possibly, um, going to be really good. It's basically a better version of, um, you know, Izana's, um, Peacebringer. The only thing that, um, Izana has over her is basically Rally Luck at this point. So, that's, but again, it's, it's Rally Luck. Like, I'm not going to cry over this. Right. And she has Future Sight, which, you know, Hayato has that. And she has Ryan Magic for promoting to an Omiyoji. And her personal skill, I honestly think, is pretty good. It's basically, like, um, it's just an extra 4 damage if she attacked an enemy who she previously fought in battle. And this will work, like, in the enemy phase. So if she didn't kill someone in the enemy phase, and you want her to finish it off during the player phase, this is pretty good. And Though, mm -hmm. I do think that it's not as good for her, because her, she'll most likely double and kill, because she has 30 magic and 28 base speed. So she, but if she's not killing something, then there's something wrong with her. But I do think um, this version of Raja is pretty good. I do wish I, she could have been something better. I also was looking at her, and I think that she would have actually worked out better as a, not, well, maybe an Oni Chieftain, but honestly, like, maybe a Blacksmith. But again, Really? Uh, I mean, she has better growth rates than those, if I take a look, like... As an only Chieftain, like, her magic doesn't take that big of a hit. She gets better defenses, and she has basically the same strength as her magic. Though, again, she... Yeah, but why? Why would you make her an only Chieftain? She retains her B-rank in tomes, and she can basically be... A, so? She can, she can basically be, like, if you, if you like, lost, you know, your only Chieftain, uh, <laughs> your only Chieftain, um, Renka, just in case. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, but like... Plus she gets Death Blow. She gets Death Blow. And Seal Rest. Yeah, Death Blow I understand, but I would reclass her immediately back to Amiyoji. Oh yeah, totally. Because like... I mean, it's just a thought. That's all I'm saying. But I do think as an Amiyoji... It's an interesting would... thought. <laughs> it's an interesting concept. Like, remember, this is Birther. We're just screwing around here. Um, But I think this version of Raja is pretty good. I think in comparison to her father, like... Yeah, she's obviously more magic-based. Hides is a little bit faster, but that's not by much, and he's basically a bit more bulky. And I do think Raja, she's getting a bit of her, like, squishiness from her mother, because Mozu is squishy, regardless of what class she is. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, hell, I made her Dreadfighter, my Conquest playthrough, and she still was squishy, and she was relying on dodging just to tank. Mm -hmm. So, I do think Raja is pretty good. Um, this version is alright. I think I was just rare. I rare four stars because I do think she has a bit. She's a bit better than Izana, and I do think I rated Izana four stars if I remember correctly. And I do think that she basically she has inspiration in comparison to Izana's Peacebringer, which is worse than inspiration. Though Izana does have Rally Luck, where Raja doesn't, unless you mm -hmm. I think if you make her um, a actually no, she can't get actually Rally Magic because. She can't get right luck because you have to be a shrine man to get that, or a monk, and she can't become that. So yeah, she can't get right luck as well, at all unless she like inherited that from her mother or from yeah, unless she inherited yeah. from her mother. So. But of all the rallies, it's rally luck. I know, you but know. still, right? Luck. Yeah, but yeah, remember we've been facing low percent Chris before, so like, yeah. um, still, this also rare for so it's not regardless. Plus, yeah. she has a pretty good personal this... skill, which is one of the better ones. Yeah. This Raja looks pretty good. Um, I like her high speed growth. Um, she's got really good starting mag magic and oh, wait, uh, res. Wait, wait, wait. Let me change growth rate back just so that way. Okay. Yeah. Um, her magic growth rate is pretty good. Um, 
And her res is also nothing to, you know, sneeze at. Um, so yeah, that that that's like some of my favorite things is magic speed and res. Um, <laughs> yeah. So for me, I think she this this Rajat looks really good. Um, I don't know if I would give her a five. I think I would give her a four. Um, I know you mentioned like her defense is not being great, but I wouldn't really care because she's a Don Mioji. I mean, hell, she actually you has know? really good. Like she has more defense. For Don Mioji, she has good defense. Yeah, she she's... has more. She has more defense than, than she actually has the same yeah. defense as as Orochi, and yeah. Orochi is focusing on staying alive through Nosferatu or dodging, and yeah. she's got basically yeah really good magic, like twenty eight base. Magic gets speed in 26 rows. But yeah, so I think she's good. I'd give her a 4 out of 5. Alright. If she had a higher staff rank, I think I would rate her a 5, though. Because D, like, you know. Mm -hmm. So, um, now we're going to go and get Kiragi. So that's um, Obero and Takumi. So there's not really a whole lot that we can pass down to because he's going to be mm -hmm. the class's father. So, um, right. I guess I could buy a skill for him. Um, as for Obro though, um, oh man, what do we pass now? Like, he, that's the thing. Like, she's got three Ren skills. Heaven. <laughs> oh man, I have to see what Kiragi's like um, skill, what his uh, stats have to be first. Um, yeah, but think Takumi doesn't have like an activatable skill. Yeah, and do... snipers don't really get activatable skills. So like, she or uh, he would really benefit from Rend Heaven. Okay, I have another Takumi here. Um, okay, oh, he's got Death Blow. Yeah, mm. he's, yeah. I had a playthrough <laughs> where I made ta where I where I hacked talk me to be an adventurer, and I wanted to. Oh my god! I mean, he capped his skill and speed, which I gotta say though, that is very shit for an adventurer. Like thirty-two space speed cap. Yeah. Do you have another talk me here, please, with like better skills, or they're just like more. Please, please tell me that's something I really have. Fuck. Okay. Okay, um, I guess we can get... I, mean, I don't want to have that. I don't, because that, at that point, he's going to be basically just be Shura. Um, and pass is... But better. Yeah, I know, but... Uh, why don't we give him movement plus one? Like, there could be a situation where we could use, like, you know, an extra movement. Okay. Because at that point... Interesting just, choice. At this point, we might as well just have, like, Shura be bench. So, like... So... Wait a minute, that was... Wait, this was talking to you too, right? Okay. Wait, do I have... I don't think I have a Kuragi in here, because at that point, I could just bought a skill for Kuragi at that point. Nah, okay. So, we do have supports. Um, we'll do those, like, later. Um... Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, right, I need to check what your skill cap is, so... Let me see what this is, because we have to be getting close to it, so... Let's see, hero, max stats... Uh, wait, what? That uh, can't be right. That cannot be right. Did you put my Did you put my skill boon in? Uh, yeah, your boon. I mean, unless it like, let me just do this. Conquest, birth rate, skill, hero, max stats. There, thirty nine. Thirty nine. Oh wait, I get it. Thirty nine. We okay. There we go. And we have the statue. Right, so that's why. So you're one point away from capping it. <laughs> oh my god. 40 fucking skill. Alright, so let's go and get Kriyagi now. So um, we're passing down movement plus one from Takumi. And we're passing down um, Ren Heaven from Obero. Alright. Let's, uh, I don't think we got any stat boosters. Nope. All right, let's go. Oh, wait, right. Emil. Um, I do think I want defense actually on this team because this paralog is a little bit tricky if you don't plan for it mm -hmm. correctly. So let's see. Defense and speed because there's a lot of flyers on this map and flyers are known for the speed. Eccentric flare. Oh, right. I don't need res, Izana. Come on, that's terrible. I'll take the speed and defense, though. <laughs> Alright, let me just make a cut here. 